Welcome. Welcome. Good job. What? Why? Uh, Lawrence! <laughs> So we are on our way to the crocodile pond and we stopped and getting some wache. <laughs> wache is one of the delicacies and it tastes better when you're getting it in tamales. So right here, I'm in this canteen trying to get my wache. Mommy, me wache is saying 35. 35. So when you want tasty wache, tamale, you have to come all the way to tamale and come and get some tasty wache. That's where you can find it. I see mothers dropping their children off at school on a motor bicycle. I think that's the most sexiest thing I can see a woman do. I love driving in the north, honestly, compared to Ashanti region, Greater Accra region. Man, the conformity of driving here in this region, it is fantastic. The cyclers, even the Pragya drivers, my goodness. I love driving over here. There's so much conformity. Thank you so much, Accra. That's why you're driving like that. afternoon thank you for having us so you were saying that the the pronunciation of this place is Pagazanga Crocodile Pond okay I'm Nana Frema okay I'm Salifu Awewuza Salifu thank you for doing this with us you are welcome to Pagazanga Crocodile Pond yeah my name is Salifu Awewuza and why these crocodiles are here why they are friendly is that they save the life of the founder of this town who was a hunter so one day he went to the bush to hunt all oh, his water and food he took along with him got finished. And he was tasty, there was no way he could get water to drink. He sat under a tree when you saw one crocodile pass on. And he realized that crocodile didn't stay anywhere apart from water. So he followed it gradually, gradually to when he entered a hole where there's water. He fed the water and drank and filled some of his containers and he started hunting again. When he finished something, coming back home, he met a river. The river was flooded. And there was no way he could, he could cross this river. As he was standing there, you saw the same crocodile just cross this river. And those days, hunters do spoke of animals. This man spoke to it and he heard a tale of the crocodile, and the crocodile pulled him across this river. When he came back home, he narrated all oh, what has happened to his family members, and they decided to consult the Susuya. And the Susuya confirmed that he shouldn't attempt to kill any crocodile because uh, the crocodile saved his life. And it's happened that uh, this man had a quarrel of uh, his family members back at Burkina Faso, a village called Kampala, and he decided to look for a place to settle. He staff from Burkina Faso walked towards here. When he gets here, he says, Ayi Pagayo. In our language, it means my eye lie this place. Hmm. This is why his eye lie, this is why he settled. When he settled here for a few years later, he was hunting around. He met a small water line, he saw two crocodile line in this water. He came to his notice that back at Burkina Faso, Kampala, there are crocodiles not in Paga here. So he quickly went to the Susoya again. And the Susoya confirmed that the crocodile that saved his life for the past years come to stay with him. So he shouldn't make an attempt to kill any crocodile. He'd rather protect them. From there, he vowed not to take a meat of it or killing it. Or none of his descendants should do so. From there, we also follow that tradition up to now. When they die, we bury them like the way we bury ourselves. Oh. And every year they have been reproducing. That's why there are now many in Paga here. When they are buried to lay their eggs, they come to our houses where we dump the refuse. The crocodile the, comes to your houses? Yes, yeah, yeah, where we dump the refuse, the boiler, they dig under of them and lay their eggs. And the normal start to lay their eggs January and the hatch April. So the, the crocodiles, are they... 
are they um, tamed by nature yeah. or or they they're wild and then because they they're living here among humans and yeah, then yeah, humans the nature, tame them yeah they represent the source of the people here so they don't disturb anybody the community too don't disturb them I see. So what do we have to do before we're able to see the, the crocodiles? Yeah, so you have to picture your chicken to call the animal out. Okay. Once it come out, you have to sit on them, play with it, taking your pictures. After that, you feed it. We don't feed it first? You don't feed it first. You feed it after. We feed it after. Okay. And why? Why is that? Is it because? Well, it's, 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 it's because if it's, it's because if you feed it, it know that you have finished dealing with it. You have finished. You have finished playing with it. Okay. It return back into the water. That is why we do feed it after. Okay. Yeah. So it seems that these crocodiles are aware that we are here. You know, once you're here, you're here to play with them. So, is there any? You know any circumstances whereby there's an accident where they've, you know, they forgot that they were playing. There's no accident like that. There's nothing like that. Because the tall guys are here to guide you. Okay. They are here to guide you, call it out, they will direct you, pass here, don't pass here. Because when they are, when the, the crocodile is lying outside, you know, because of your standard, you don't have to pass in front of it. They are used to jump and grab the chicken. So if I may pass in front of them, that they may... Not that it will jump, uh -huh. but some of them, uh, do the young ones, mm -hmm. when they see you pass, they think that you are come to feed them. Okay. So it will, it will try to rise on you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, just like a dog? Yes. Okay. So they will be there to guide you what to do. All right, thank you. So at, aside the chicken, what do they feed on? Yeah, they will feed them with a chicken. And also, they also roam the whole village to farm fox and toes to eat. Also, there are fishes inside the pond. They roam in the village, so at times they can come out and roam no. whilst, whilst like for instance, if community. everybody is working and... Uh, you'll be sleeping or playing, uh, roaming around, you see it just by your house. Okay. Searching for frogs and toes. Okay, yeah. so then, in, because I know that certain parts of Ghana, mm -hmm. crocodile is a delicacy, they eat crocodile, so I'm thinking that in these, in, in Paga or... Yeah, well, two times we don't... You don't eat crocodiles at all. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that one? So they're not going to be running. The biggest one. Ha. How old is the biggest one? 95? Wow. Can I, I can I touch it? Yeah, touch it. Wow, crocodile life. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. Yeah, heavy. Body. Oh wow, it's yeah. very heavy. Yeah. And this 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 is a 90 year old crocodile. Yeah. What? And this is a male or a female? Yeah. Male. Okay. Whoever wants to come touch it, I'll be behind the camera. Who's through? Don't sit on the tail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What? Run. <laughs> you better not edit this part. I want this part in there. Don't do anything. 
Look at you. you Go know? sit on it, huh? Okay. What should I do? Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Do like this. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Good job. Thank you for watching Nana Frema TV. If you haven't subscribed, Go ahead and subscribe below and also comment on what you saw on my guy being afraid of that crocodile. What do you think? <laughs>